Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for attending this session. I am Shashank Gandhi, and I'm a program manager for Microsoft Visio. Uh, sorry, the setting up took some time, and I think the resolution is not the best. Uh, but let's try to go through it. So today, I'll be talking about how you can leverage Visio and Excel to uh, transform your business process mapping, making it more data-driven and agile. Uh, I'll be talk. I'll be talking about data visualizer platform in Visio, which helps you convert process data in Excel into Visio diagrams automatically. And then I'll be talking about the new add-in we are developing for Excel, which lets you make your business process diagrams and bunch of other diagram types within Excel without even having to install Visio. So, uh, and I'll be going through the demos for all of these. Uh, before we get into the specifics of Excel, let's have a look how Visio integrates well with the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. So you can embed Visio diagrams in Power BI today in your dashboards and make them more contextual with the real world. You can use uh, Visio inside Microsoft Teams to edit and collaborate with your, with your colleagues. You can use Visio to automatically export your business process diagrams into a Word documentation with just a single click of a button. And you can export your workflows within Visio automatically to flow and execute the workflows in, in Microsoft Flow. You can also use Visio to, develop, to document your Azure diagrams using the Azure specific shapes. And you can today use Visio uh, to export all of your diagrams into a PowerPoint deck automatically. It just splits up your diagram as per your needs and makes a nice PowerPoint presentation with uh, more transitions so that you can present, it, present your diagrams as per the context you need. Uh, finally, you can upload your diagrams to OneDrive for Business and use it to share it with other folks. Now let's get into the specifics of Excel. So Visio today allows you to automatically create your diagrams from data in Excel. You can either use the pre-made templates that come out of the box or you can get in your own data and use the built-in wizard interface to transform the data into a diagram. You can create the process flowcharts with stencils of your choice. That means you can either use out-of-box shapes or you can use your own custom stencils. And the data and the diagram remain in sync together. That means if you update the data, the visual diagram will get updated. And if you make changes visually into the diagram, you can push back the data into Excel. Finally, we allow you uh, to standardize the diagram creation process so you can create packages with the data and diagram and distribute it within your organization so that you can reuse the mappings. You can do it once and create diagrams automatically uh, later. So uh, before we move to the demo, let's have a look to see what our customers are saying. So Corporate Health is a healthcare organization which is using Data Visualizer to transform their quality management systems. They're documenting all of their SOPs using this feature by creating standardized Excel templates and the doctors and the nurses and all the stakeholders of the process are using Excel to capture the requirements of the process and then Visio automatically creates the process maps out of it. Plexus is a law firm <clears throat> which is using Visio to visualize their case cases. So they have a case management system which captures all the case workflow data and they export it to Excel and they're able to discover their as-is processes. Finally, within Microsoft, uh, the supply chain team and several other teams are leveraging it to uh, and, and, and experiencing productivity gains by uh, reducing the time to capture the process uh, manually and making it more data-driven. All in all, all of our customers are saying that this feature is helping them focus more on the content of their process by delegating the diagram creation process to Visio. So let's move to the demo now. So uh, as I mentioned, we have pre-made templates within Excel. If you go to Excel uh, and in the backstage you search for process map, you'll find these two templates. Uh, these templates come with the standard schema, which you can use to capture your process activities. Uh, so there are a bunch of help uh, readme sheets. And finally, this is where you get to capture all of your process step. Um, each row represents an activity in your process. And then this can be exported to a diagram. Let me switch to a <clears throat> pre-filled data and show you how it works. So this one is a process map for a loan disbursement process in Contoso. And it's right, it starts right from getting the loan application from the customer to disbursement of the loan. If you notice, this has its own custom column names. And like I mentioned, you can create your own templates 
it does it, it does not need to be specific to the pre-made templates uh, you can add your own columns to define the activities the descriptions and the next activity or the previous activity to capture the dependencies and finally if it's a cross-functional uh, process then you can capture the responsible teams and the phase of the activity in which the process gets executed finally this is a metric column which captures the active tickets for each of the process steps uh, when I demo it, I'll show you how you can use such metrics to bring your diagram to life. Now, uh, in the interest of time, I'm skipping the part where uh, you can learn how to create such templates. But let's say you've done that exercise, you can uh, click on the export table to Visio diagram button. Uh, since Visio has uh, the context of all those columns because you configured it earlier, it will just create this diagram in a single button. And of course, uh, these templates are reusable and can be shared across your organization. So excuse the resolution, I think, because of the resolution, it's... Yeah, so there is the diagram which got automatically created from the Excel data. If I zoom in a little, you'll be, you should be able to see how uh, each of the process steps and the connections got created from the data in Excel. And uh, let me zoom out a little and show you that this diagram is... Uh, linked to that data which means if I go back to Excel and let's say I have to modify any of the existing process activities uh, for example let's say I want to modify this step and say disperse the loan and document the end of process so once the changes are saved in the Excel file and it can be any sort of changes you can modify existing activities you can add new activities you can change the responsible team or any other change is possible uh, you need to come back to Visio where your diagram exists and you have to click this refresh button. Uh, the feature also works well with cloud files. So your Excel file can be on the cloud on OneDrive or SharePoint and multiple people can collaborate on it and the Visio diagram can also be on the cloud. So as you can see, uh, the step got updated uh, from the change in Excel. And of course, if there are certain uh, visual thinkers who would like to make changes to the process diagram or let's say you're reviewing the process with other stakeholders and you just want to make some edit for example someone asked me to add a step here uh, so it's a disbursement process so right before uh, disbursing the loan i want to do a final compliance check which again will be performed by the compliance team as shown in this diagram from the swim lane so once I've done my changes, uh, I have to click this button to push it back to Excel. I need to close Excel first because it's a file on my system currently, not a cloud file. So Visio needs to edit it. So I can click this button to push the changes from Visio to Excel. And again, this can be any sort of changes that you make on the diagram, uh, which can be pushed back to Excel. So if I go back and uh, open this Excel, Visio would have added a new uh, row in Excel to define the new activity that I added in my diagram. Right, let me try to open it again. Okay, there it is. So uh, I added a this step in Visio and uh, Visio updated Excel with all the changes that it was making, making in my diagram. Now, uh, move, and of course, uh, like I talked about earlier, once you're done with uh, your diagram and you've made any sort of customizations, you can use uh, the export to a template functionality to create your own data and diagram templates. That means you can start with any Excel file use the wizard in Visio to configure it and finally export it to a template and you, you just reuse it again and again. Uh, now, I talked about the metric column earlier in Excel which was denoting the active tickets. So, uh, this column calls out the number of active tickets at each step of the process. Uh, how do you use it to bring your diagram to life? So, Visio helps you with data graphics for such cases. So, this is the data graphics field pane in Visio, which you can select, uh, use, use to select any of the columns in Excel which represent your metrics. The moment you do that, Visio assigns a metric visual to each of the steps. Let me zoom in a little so that you can see it clearly. 
All right, I think uh, the resolution is really bad, so I'll zoom in further. So this data bar here calls out the number of active tickets at each step of the process. And again, it's linked to data, so if the, if the tickets change at, e at any step in your process, the same gets reflected here when you refresh the diagram. And of course, this can be customized to suit your needs. We have a wide variety of uh, gallery of data graphics items. So depending on your data set, for example, this was uh, numerical data, so I used a data bar. If it was categorical data, for example, risk associated with an activity like low, medium, and high, you can denote it with a symbol in the icon set. Or you can even choose uh, to have colors for each of the data sets, for example, uh, again, if it's a low, medium, high risk, then you can select a color for each of the categorical data. Uh, and we support a bunch of callouts. If you want to say uh, show the, the contact information for the owner, you can use any of the text callouts. And again, once, once you've configured this, you can also create templates such that other people don't have to uh, create the data graphics. They, are, they exist from the get-go when they, when they map the process using Excel. Uh, moving on to my deck. So what you saw until now is the data visualizer feature in Visio Desktop available with Visio Online Plan 2, which is the subscription plan for Visio. Next, the new thing that we're working on is the add-in uh, for data visualizer within Excel. So uh, we understand that to truly democratize uh, business process mapping using Excel data, users should be able to create diagrams within Excel without having to install Visio or know anything about uh, process mapping within Visio. So this add-in helps you get started with a bunch of sample uh, data sets which you can use to modify and add your own uh, steps of the process. Uh, you can create uh, basic flowcharts, cross-functional flowcharts, and organizational charts within Excel uh, using the data uh, there. And uh, using Visio Online, you can view, print, or share your diagrams. And Visio Online Viewer is again available to all Office, Office 365 users. Uh, finally, you can use Visio Online or Visio Desktop if you want to further customize the diagram. Now, as I mentioned, this add-in only requires an Office subscription. You, ne you need no Visio license to create your diagrams from data. A license is only required if you want to edit it further within the Visio application. And the add-in is available in private preview. Uh, you can create a bunch of diagrams using it, and I'm going to demonstrate it soon. Uh, for example, a business uh, process diagram, which is a basic flowchart, uh, or a cross-functional flowchart. You can even create organizational charts within Excel. So if you have a need to map your organization by exporting the data from your human resource management systems into Excel, then you can use uh, the add-in to create your diagram. And very soon, we'll be having features like uh, putting up the images for your employees uh, and similar advanced features for creating org charts. So let me uh, switch to the demo for the add-in. So I have the add-in inserted here. Um, let me just scroll down a little. Or let me zoom out because the resolution is not showing the complete add-in. So this is the add-in. It helps you get started with samples. And very soon, you'll be able to get your own data and uh, create from custom data as well. Uh, let's start by creating a sample cross-functional flowchart. So uh, what's happening is that uh, it's inserting some sample data within Excel. Yeah, there it is. It's a little slow because of the network, I believe. So the add-in sample data within Excel, which you can use to replace with your own process activities. And uh, pretty soon, you'll be seeing a Visio diagram within the add-in, which is saved on the cloud by default on your OneDrive or SharePoint folders. Uh, and both are linked, so you can replace the steps in the add-in with your process steps, and it gets reflected in the diagram. So let's give it some more time to show up. Or what I can do is I can switch to the sample that I have that I created earlier. So this is how it looks. Uh, the diagram gets inserted and uh, it's linked to the data. So if you, for example, this is a course publication process flow, and uh, you can see the changes happening in Excel will reflect uh, right within the diagram. So let's say if I add another step after defining the course requirements, which says that uh, 
the re requirements need to be reviewed and I just need to fix up the connections and I can also call out uh, the kind of shape notation that I want to use again I can select it from an intuitive drop down interface and uh, I can specify which function does it so for example the writers would review the requirements in the planning phase so once I'm done with all that I can click refresh and Visio will pull in the data and update the diagram and uh, since the diagram is created in the cloud by default you can open it up in Visio online and share it with other uh, stakeholders I think uh, the connectivity is causing some trouble here Oh, just give me a moment anyways I had some backup slides just in case so I will uh, pull those up so uh, you can get the add-in from the store it's currently available in private preview I'll have a link at the end of the I'm sorry the slide didn't come up yeah so I'll have a link at the end of the session which you can use to sign up to get an exclusive invite to try out the add-in and uh, you can uh, very soon you'll be able to get started with a wide variety of sample diagrams as you can see on screen uh, you can also get in your own data currently we only support sample data but soon you'll be get able to get in your own data and map it to create the diagram uh, this is how it looks you can insert the sample and then you can modify it and refresh to create your own diagrams uh, and then you can use Visio online to share it. Uh, now we are working on this add in, in, in a continuous momentum, adding more features to it. Uh, pretty soon, as I mentioned, there'll be a mapping pane interface that you can use to map your data and create your diagrams. You can also uh, get started by creating org charts, uh, which will be available uh, in, in the public preview of the add in uh, in subsequent months. So let me see if the demo is started working so I can show it to you I guess it didn't work no worries so um, again uh, as I mentioned, the add-in is available in private preview. You can use this QR code to sign up or you can go to aka.ms slash visio hyphen DV invite and uh, we'll send you the invite to try out the add-in. Uh, you can, you, if, you, if you need an Office 365 license, you're all set. Uh, only if you require to customize the add-in further, you need a, uh, the, the diagram further, you need a visio license. Uh, creation of the diagrams, opening it in visio online and sharing it or downloading it and printing it is available for free uh, to all Office 365 users. Uh, if you want to learn more and stay connected, uh, I'm sorry, I think some people were still scanning it. I'll go back to the screen. So the private review does not support uh, organization charts. However, that will be coming out soon. It only supports creation of process flow charts. Uh, and if you have asked to create any other di diagram types from data in Excel or any other data source, feel free to reach out to us. You can connect with us through any of these channels. Uh, if you don't want to remember all of these right now, just make sure that you reach out to us on tellvisio at the rate microsoft.com. Uh, you can let us know uh, uh, your asks by writing us to on this ID. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, I believe we're out of time for the session, but uh, we have a booth for Excel and Visio over there and you can reach out to me over the booth for any questions or asks. Thank you. And I apologize for the technical glitches in the resolution. I hope it was